Hello, I am Richard Grandstaff, and I would like to welcome you to this lecture on the four main goals of psychology. So let's get started. Before we begin to discuss the four main goals of psychology, I think it is important that we have an operational definition for the science of psychology. And I do want to stress that psychology is a science. Psychology is the scientific study of behaviors and mental processes, or simply, the scientific study of the mind and behavior. The word scientific is a key feature of this definition because psychologists follow strict scientific procedures to collect and analyze their data. A behavior such as crying, hitting someone, sleeping, or other behaviors can be directly observed. In other words, we can see when it happens. However, mental processes of the mind are private, internal experiences that cannot be directly observed. In other words, we cannot see thinking. These mental processes include feelings, thoughts, and memories. Psychology places a high value on empirical evidence that can be observed objectively and evaluated. So moving on from the definition of psychology, we will next discuss the four main goals, which are to describe, explain, predict, and change. So the goals of psychological science are to describe what a particular phenomenon is, explain why it occurs, predict when it will occur, and change or control what causes it to occur. Now that we have a definition of psychology, let's briefly discuss the scientific method which is used to achieve psychology's four main goals of describe, explain, predict, and change. First, it is important to know that the scientific method is a form of empiricism which is based on observation, including experimentation. Second, the scientific method is used to acquire knowledge. And third, here is the definition of the scientific method which states, The scientific method is a systematic procedure of observing and measuring observable behavior to answer questions about what happens, when it happens, what causes it to happen, and why it happens. This process involves a dynamic interaction between theories, hypotheses, and research methods. Earlier you will recall that I stated that psychology is a science. As such, it seeks to understand the behavior of others and to gather information about how our mental processes function to better serve the needs of people. The description goal is usually the first step in understanding any behavior. In this step, the description goal informs us about what has occurred. In their studies, researchers attempt to describe or name or classify observed behaviors. A researcher may focus on certain behaviors or questions about a particular behavior. For example, let's briefly discuss cell phone use and driving. The description goal seeks to answer questions such as how many people use cell phones while driving? Another question to be explored may be do they talk or do they text more while driving? Another example may focus on aggression in males. In the description goal, we will need a definition of aggression. A researcher will seek to describe the nature and type of aggression. Once psychologists can describe a behavior or phenomenon, they can use that as a basis for learning more about the behavior. The next goal of psychology is to provide an explanation as to why certain behaviors or mental processes occur. In order to explain a behavior or a mental process, there needs to be an understanding of its causes. 
Is it nature? Or nurture? Or an interaction? Or is it some other variable? Going back to our example of cell phone use interfering with driving, the explanation goal would seek to answer some important questions. Is it because people use their hands to hold the phone? Is it because they take their eyes off of the road? Does using a cell phone interfere with the ability to focus on driving? And regarding our example of aggression in males, there is research that suggests that there are numerous interacting explanations for aggression. These include things such as culture, learning, genetics, a brain injury, and testosterone. In order to explain behavior, psychologists must conduct studies and experiments to ensure that the behavior in question is not an anomaly. The prediction goal in psychology is designed to identify when and under what conditions a future behavior or mental process is likely to occur. So, for our cell phone use interferes with driving example, researchers may want to examine how often cell phone use is related to traffic collisions. By conducting this examination, we can predict that future cell phone use while driving might be associated with more crashes. And when it comes to examining aggression in males, research indicates that there is a correlational relationship between alcohol use and increased aggression. Therefore, we can predict that there will be more fights in places where alcohol is consumed than in places where it is not consumed. For instance, imagine for a moment Saturday night or early Sunday morning in the gas lamp district. What might be the prediction regarding fighting there? So remember, in the prediction goal, the psychologist aims to predict how a particular behavior will appear again in the future and if other people will exhibit the same identified behavior. The final and fourth goal in psychology is to change, control, or modify behaviors which may be harmful, ineffective, or interferes with life functioning. Psychologists may want to control or change one factor in order to have an influence on another. Now, don't let the word control disturb you. Psychologists are not out to control your mind. The change goal in psychology is actually positive. In this goal, to change, control, or modify simply means to apply psychological knowledge to prevent unwanted outcomes or to bring about a person's desired goals. For example, the change goal would seek improvements in many life areas, such as improving work environments or reducing addictive behaviors, or to improve relationships, or to reduce depressive symptoms. Okay, so let's review what we've just been talking about. Remember that the four main goals of psychology are to describe, explain, predict, and change. In the goal of description, we want to describe the nature of the behavior of interest. As for the explanation goal, we want to explain why the behavior is occurring. In the prediction goal, we want to predict when the behavior will occur. And finally, in the change goal, we want to determine how we can change or control the behavior that was described, explained, and predicted. There you have it, the four main goals of psychology. Well, to finish up this brief lecture, I will direct you to the resources that I have used in creating it. If you want to learn more about this topic or any other topic in psychology, it is always a good idea to explore the citations that are presented in any lecture, article, 
book or documentary that you may be viewing or reading. The science of psychology promotes the use of critical thinking skills and the verification of information. I'll end this by leaving you with two things. One, never stop learning. And two, a quote from B.B. King which states, the beautiful thing about learning is that nobody can take it away from you. Until next time, take care and be well.